Today I'll discuss a hidden Markov model variant for sequence classification by myself and my advisor, Professor Rangwala. Why do we want to classify sequences? Sequence classification is a core problem in a large number of practical applications. In this application, we focus on classifying protein sequences. It turns out that for protein sequence classification, it's especially nice for computer scientists because we have a large number of curated data sets as well as a bunch of baseline methodologies. There are several common methods for representing sequences for classification. In one method, we might simply extract a number of elements from the sequence and place those in a fixed length vector. In another method, we might construct a vector of counts of subsequences. And finally, these methods and many others can be generalized in the kernel trick, where we simply define an inner product that's positive definite over pairs of sequences. At the core of our method is the hidden Markov model. Hidden Markov models assume that each observed symbol is generated from a hidden state. Each of these hidden states are independent of the previous hidden states, given the hidden state immediately preceding it. This independence assumption allows for a series of efficient inference methods over the model. Topic models are another important concept relating to our model's ability to represent sequences. Topic models, like hidden Markov models, assume a hidden state generates an observed symbol. However, in this case, order information in a document, or in our case, a sequence, is discarded. We propose a model to represent a set of variable length sequences as a set of fixed length vectors. We speculate that if we learn the parameters of a probabilistic model, then these parameters will represent the sequences in a meaningful way. In our HMM variant, we begin by attempting to model each sequence with a separate hidden Markov model. In this case, each sequence will have its own transition matrix, as you can see in the plate diagram. Unlike a hidden Markov model, we share an emission matrix across all our sequences in the data set. As you can see, when we add this sharing capability, we produce a model that's very similar to latent Dirichlet allocation, which is a common topic model. In addition, like latent Dirichlet allocation, we add Dirichlet priors to each of our model parameters. I will now describe three methods for performing inference over our model. The first method is very similar to methods used in hidden Markov models, the Baum-Welsh algorithm is an expectation maximization algorithm. In our case, however, because we have Dirichlet priors on the parameters, the Baum-Welsh algorithm converges to an MAP solution rather than a maximum likelihood solution. In the MCMC algorithm, we sample hidden states in the hidden Markov models. Then we can also sample the hidden parameters in the Dirichlet distributions. For variational inference, we construct a tractable approximation to our model by breaking dependencies between both hidden states and the priors of our model. This is similar to a type of MCMC algorithm where we sample individual hidden states given adjacent hidden states. We ran several experiments to test our methods. These experiments were conducted on protein data sets. Specifically, we used data sets from the Structural Classification of Proteins library and these data sets were filtered using astral filterings, which removed sequences that were too similar and would affect classification results. We constructed training and test sets in the standard way for the remote homology detection problem, which is a well-defined problem in amino acid sequence classification. Specifically, to construct a training set, we left out examples from separate subcategories in the scope hierarchy for the test set. We ran experiments by first conducting inference under our HMM variant model for the training set of sequences. We then fed the fixed length representations from the HMM variant into an SVM classifier. We measured performance by computing the AUC and AUC50 scores under the ROC curve from the support vector machine. We compared the performance of the different inference algorithms over our training and test sets. This slide shows two of the experiments that we performed. 
In general, the Gibbs sampling algorithm outperformed both the Baum Welsh and the variational algorithm in most of our tests. We compared our algorithm to a number of previously used methods. Although it does not outperform the other methods in AUC score, it does outperform a number of methods in AUC 50 score. The AUC 50 score is used when we prefer a correct identification of a positive example to an incorrect identification of a negative example. From our experiments, we found that the MCMC algorithm tended to produce better solutions for classification than the other algorithms. The Baum-Welsh algorithm produced a representation that differed from the others in that the transition matrices were the result of MAP estimation rather than the expectation over approximate posteriors. The variational algorithm seemed to perform the worst. Likely this was because the mean field bound is not a very tight bound on the marginal likelihood. Compared to other methods, the HMM variant performed similarly to the spectrum kernel, which constructs a vector of subsequence counts. The HMM variant also produces a vector that's much lower in dimensionality than either the spectrum or mismatch kernels. Unfortunately, the HMM variant is outperformed by more sophisticated kernels that take into account domain-specific information. To summarize, the HMM variant is a model that allows us to represent a set of variable length sequences as a set of fixed length vectors by combining ideas from the standard hidden Markov model and from topic models like latent Dirichlet allocation. In future work, we hope to account explicitly for labels in our model, and hopefully this will produce a representation that allows us to better discriminate between sequences. Finally, we include a list of references. For a more in-depth look at our ideas, Please see our paper in the Ijikai 2011 conference proceedings.